This week, we head up the central coast of California, meet some new friends, get tempted by the Danish, Kate does a funky dance, and we see the world's largest pet rock. After a few days of camping along the ocean, we made our way north to meet some friends so our pups could have a play date. Arroyo Burro Beach is a well-known park in Santa Barbara amongst dog owners. Although Leo does not like going into the water, he loves to strut his stuff on the sand. After a few hours of frolicking in the sand, we continued north and decided to stop in Lompoc for the night. Since I'm an elk, we have the opportunity to stay at different lodges around the country and meet fellow elks along the way. We didn't need water or electricity, so we opted for dry camping. Once we got settled, we ventured into Lompoc's wine ghetto. We met three locals who welcomed us to their city and treated us to some more great wines. Their kindness and generosity made us feel incredibly fortunate to be on this journey where we get to meet genuine, good-hearted people along the way. So everyone's been asking what our MPG is. We just filled up again and so far we're averaging 14 and we're both happy about that. It's because I'm behind the wheel. And this is, let's see, we're going 35 and a 50. You gotta speed it up. The speed limit just changed. It just went from 35 to 50. You gotta give me a chance. By the way, I love the comment we got about my criticizing Kate's driving. I do that all the time and then she just gets me right back, so. It's, I'm used to it. I am the butt of all his jokes. Hey look, it's gonna be 55 soon. Uh, you better get on that right pedal, the skinny one. So where are we heading first? Muleton or Salt Bay? Uh, well, we're gonna drive through Muleton first, but we're gonna go to Salt Bay, then head back to Muleton because we're meeting uh, a couple of YouTube subscribers over there for a late lunch, early dinner. Oh cool. I'm making a Swiss chard lentil curry for lunch. There's green lentils in there, coconut, curry powder blend, a little bit of salt seasoning, and then I'm gonna put the shard in there. And once I put it on, it'll probably take 25 minutes so we can take Leo for a nice walk around Solvang and then come back for lunch. I'm excited. I'm also very happy we found a spot in the public parking lot. Yeah, it filled up quickly. There were only two spots left. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Solvang. This is our little Denmark right here in America. It was Leo's first time in Solvang. He dragged us around town, trying to hunt down all of those delicious pastries he could smell. Between the horse-drawn carriage, restaurants, and pastries, I met a gentleman who had fitted a steel bumper to his van. We both thought it looked pretty awesome. If the Danishes weren't enough, we found even more delicious looking pastries, but decided to save our appetites. After meeting the founders of Solvang, we headed back home for lunch. Dun da da da! Oh, that smells good. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome, it's hot. This is delicious. Mm. To get away from the crowds, we headed into Hans Christian Andersen Park and took a walk among the many live oak trees that filled the park. If the name sounds familiar, he's the Danish author who wrote The Little Mermaid. After working up an appetite, we indulged in our first meal out since starting camper van life and had a close encounter with the local bull. 
We've spent the last few nights stealth camping right next to this freeway, and personally, I kind of love it. I sleep very well when there's noise right next to me, just constant throughout the night, so it's not a bad way to go. Oh, look at the Model T. I'm really excited to be back at Waller Park in Santa Maria. It was really nice to spend yesterday here. And this is our backyard. How awesome is that? That's pretty awesome. Now, if the sun will come out, I'll be even happier. Well, it did yesterday. Yeah. And it was nice sitting in the sun. Well, I've learned being on the coast of California, there's takes a while for the marine layer to burn off. Mm -hmm. And there's a dog obedience class going on. We should probably enroll Leo. I think he's more obedient than those dogs are. Well, he's so chill. He can just hang out and relax. This is my backyard for the day. I'll take it. It's better than going to a coffee shop and sitting there and working. This is something that I never really thought about when we switched to camper van life is, hey, we can just leave the campground once we wake up, find a really awesome park in the area, set up for the day. We can work, relax, sit outside, set up our chairs. This is the life. As we traveled up the central coast, finding free or economical places to spend the night was becoming a challenge, so we kept moving north and spent the day in Arroyo Grande. All right, I'm looking for a spot on the edge. Leo's not too sure about this bouncy bridge. After being teased by the chickens, Leo got a chance to blow off some steam with new friends who also live in a camper van. Living the van life means fewer clothes and more trips to the laundromat. There's no separating colors here. No. Everything just goes in. Oh, somebody knows they were a bad husky. Leo. Off to Morro Bay. Morro Bay is a fun little beach town with the world's largest pet rock, fun knickknacks, and a couple crazy kids with some interesting sea life. Got a road trek over here, and a Tioga towing a boat. If we had the room in the camper van, these are the two I would get. Happy glampers and glamping. There are stories that during Prohibition, locals helped facilitate landings of Canadian whiskey around Morro Rock. It's <laughs> it was like trying to stand on a motorcycle. It's beautiful though. It is gorgeous. Time to get us dumped. Kate's gonna take care of the toilet. I'm gonna take care of the gray tank. That seemed pretty easy. It's really simple. Next time, we continue our journey north into wine country before heading into the Sierras to meet General Grant.